Spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Cost is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. It still smells better than Hutta. That's like saying a girl's slimmer than a hut. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. My goal is to join the Great Hunt. That's it. Still, let's try to keep a low profile. Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Chris DeMarcon. It's always this gloomy. Lovely. That's the center of the universe as far as the Empire is concerned. How big do you think those flags are? And then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Oh, sorry, sweetie, didn't see you there. What can I do for you? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemer the Hut. An all-girls hunter team. Good for you. How long you two been partners? Looks like Mako's always been there to back me up. Fantastic. It's rare to see that kind of solidarity in our business, you know? You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you, but there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Those other hunters can go home. That spot is mine. It's yours if you can get it. Lots of folks will be thinking the same thing, though. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're going to sort things out. Head into the main room, and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. You dogs! The Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once in your lives. You heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Koss. Expect us to hunt here, with Imperials crawling all over us, and Sith? Let the man talk. I want to hear this. For all you overblown, useless, no-talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now! 
The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. Do I look like a coward to you? Now you look like a kid with fire in her eyes. The kind who gets herself killed. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Well, what are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, New Blood. Dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaus is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman Kaus. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. What exactly is this melee I keep hearing about? Ooh, it's a big old scrap. Everybody who gets all three of their bounties goes into the rage pit. One comes out. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? I'm getting used to having the cards stacked against me. I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. I was selling him into slavery a mistake. He should have been ransomed, but Altaka wasn't properly identified when he got captured. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. I've been looking to earn some real credits for a change. Well, now's your chance. Assuming you can never find the guy. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. building it. No wonder the Imperials haven't stamped out the rebellion yet. Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Why would a noble be writing love letters to a slave? That's what I want to know. 
It must have been the force that brought you here to Drummond Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places, and for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus Room is where we'll find these weirdos. Let's talk more action. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. Just as I said. That looks like her, all right. Bounty Hunter, I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. How about I just hand over the ammo instead? Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Getting others to do your dirty work? That's just low. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. She's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Uh, sir? Who's that guy? Blood, I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You really don't want to mess with me. I'll give you a cut, you miserable, greedy thugs! Now attack! <laughs> 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 Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. I know who you really are, Lord Daka. Uh, then you know I am to be, uh, feared, and that you should not keep talking to me. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from her. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? I was promised a pile of credits to take him back to the Republic. You mean back to my family, don't you? But I thought, uh... You, you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family. That this, this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Oh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. Make this fast, lady. I've got other things to do. My darling, my lovely Altaka. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. 
I assume Altaka's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. What? You wanted to kill me? I don't kill people, unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. I'm too good for this place. Just leave. There, hunter competition out there something crazy a couple of hunters died in the jungles big trandoshan got arrested by the imperials and you found yourself an unfindable republic noble his family was plenty generous with their live bounty i need three total bounties to get in the melee correct afraid the rules will change again not yet anyway still three to win your second bounty is a bit of a mystery Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you is going to keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Fabal, Imperial Navy. Hand it over, and I'll go see this Admiral Fabal. Watch yourself in that first sit and squawk. You haven't dealt much with Imperials, have you? They make huts look downright honest. Here's the slip. For balls in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I'm afraid the Admiral is not seeing vagrants today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. Let me in there. Now. I really couldn't care less what you... What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. Never stand in my way again. The Admiral is waiting. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He was of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. That was good thinking. Ah, yes, just so. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. Then I'll assume you're newly arrived to Droman Cass. Things work a bit differently here. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, 
I lose my rank and position. In the worst. You've got a lot to protect, Admiral. Precisely. There is no room for failure here. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege, but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. I'll handle this quiet and quick. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. I'd be ashamed to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. You all right? Bridge. We don't want to get trapped there. Everything I've dug up about Grathlin is seriously disturbing, even for a Sith. have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. What does it matter who kills you? A woman has to have standards. Wait, you don't seriously think you can kill me? I mean, I'm a Sith and you're just... whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. You believe you're invincible, little girl? No, of course not. A more powerful Sith could kill me. Or a really lucky Jedi, I suppose. Perhaps a bomb, but not some random bounty hunter. You must be so crushed. Live and learn, I guess. Except, not in your case. Sorry. lost? I can't lose. I'm Sith. You were Sith. Now you're just done. Can't die like this. Fall into some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. You're not the first Sith who died from arrogance, and you won't be the last. I just can't believe it. <laughs> you 
Go right, right in, please. Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... I'm sorry. This can't be easy for you. Thank you, Hunter. Empathy from one of your class level is surprising. Here, take your credits and go. You'll understand if I say I never want to see the face of my daughter's murderer again. You may not want to go look in any mirrors for a while. Just go. Come on. He needs to be alone with what he's done.